Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. In this video, we will tell you about the different parts of projection microscope and also show you how to operate it. So, first of all, let's know why this type of microscope is called projection microscope. So, as the name suggests, projection microscope means in this microscope, the image of the specimen project directly on the screen. Specimen means the object which we want to observe means its magnify image through the microscope. Means by this microscope, we directly observe the magnified image of the specimen on the screen. That's why it is called projection microscope. Normally, in the compound light microscope, we observe the magnified image of the specimen through the eyepiece. But in the projection microscope, there is no need to observe the magnified image of the specimen through the eyepiece because the magnified image of the microscopic object project on the screen of the projection microscope from where we directly observe the image. And due to the projecting lens in the screen, magnified image of the specimen observed on the screen. So let's start and know about the different parts of projection microscope. This microscope is called projection microscope and this is the entire body of the projection microscope. This is the circular dome shaped screen of the projection microscope and we have to attach means fit this screen here in the eyepiece tube. And this is the light adjusting knob. We can move this knob in both anti-clockwise and clockwise direction. And with the help of this knob, we increase or decrease the intensity of light. Light means the light which focus from the light source to the slide placed on the stage on which the specimen is present. Means to adjust the amount of the light that reaches the specimen on the slide which is to be observed through the microscope. Means to adjust the amount of the light that reaches the specimen on the slide from the illuminator means from the light source present at the base. So we can adjust the intensity of light by this knob according to our need. Next this part is called illuminator means this is a light source from which the light focus on the object object means specimen on the slide placed on the stage means to illuminate this light or you can say specimen through the base of the microscope and this is the stage of the microscope on which we have to place the slide slide on which the specimen or you can say object like plant tissue or the animal tissue or the microbes or any other sample which we want to observe through the microscope. First we have to prepare the slide of the sample and then we have to place the slide on this stage of the microscope. Next you can see here two clips are provided on the stage and this clips is to hold the slide in place so that at the time of focusing or operating the projection microscope slide remain at the place and not move over the stage and next this part is called no space in which the objective lens is attached objective lens which magnify the specimen of the slide kept on the stage and we can rotate this nose piece to set the desired objective lens of appropriate magnification in which we want to observe the specimen. If we want to observe the object in 20x magnification of the objective lens, then rotate the nose piece in this way to move the objective lens of 20x magnification on the center of the stage just over this light. And if we want to observe the specimen at 10x magnification, then again rotate the nose piece so that 10x objective lens come over the center of the stage. And in this point also we can attach objective lens of different magnification. But here I have not attached any objective lens. Means in the nose piece we can attach objective lens of three different magnification. Means this nose piece is triple revolving nose piece. This tube is called eyepiece tube and here you can see this is the eyepiece of 10x magnification. And we have to insert this eyepiece at the top of the microscope inside the eyepiece tube in this way. And this knob is called coarse adjustment knob. 
we can rotate this knob clockwise and anti clockwise to properly focus the object means specimen in the slide here you can see during focusing means rotating the course adjustment knob clockwise and anti clockwise direction stage moves in the downward and the upward direction so we have to move this stage in the right way by rotating this course adjustment knob so that we can properly focus the microscopic object in this slide Next this knob is called fine adjustment knob and with the help of this knob we can observe the fine clear and sharp image of the object means by properly rotating this knob we can do the fine adjustment of the image of a specimen which focus on the screen of the microscope this is the back side view of the microscope and this is the arm of the microscope which support the microscope head and connect it to the base and by holding this arm we can easily carry the microscope means we can move the microscope from one place to another next this is the on off button and when we switch on this button then the light illuminate from the light source and focus on the stage and as i have already told you that this is the light adjusting knob with the help of which we can adjust the light intensity means the amount of the light when we rotate the knob clockwise intensity of light increases and this is the maximum point and in this way we can maximum increase the intensity of light and when we rotate it in the anti clockwise direction you can see the intensity of light the amount of the light decreases so in this way the intensity of the light increases or decreases means adjust the amount of the light which focus directly from the aperture of the stage to the specimen of the slide next this is the main part of the projection microscope that is screen of the projection microscope and in this way we attach and fit the screen at the top of the microscope in the ip tube after the screen get completely fit over the ip tube then tighten the screw and when we tighten the screw then you can see here screen will not move means fix at one position and when we lose this screw completely then we can rotate this screen in 360 degree direction so that we can observe the magnified image of the object which project on the screen in any direction so let's know how to operate this projection microscope so first of all we have to take a slide of a specimen which we want to observe through the microscope here we have taken permanent slide of onion plant cell or you can prepare any slide slide of any specimen any object like uh, transverse section of any part of the plant transverse section of animal tissues or microbes and after preparing the slide you can observe this slide under the projection microscope means after preparing the specimen in the proper way we have to place it in the slide means over the slide and then place this slide on the stage of the microscope Here we are placing this slide of onion cell on the center of the stage just above the aperture of the stage means the specimen of the slide should be just above the aperture of the stage aperture is the circular opening or you can say hole in the center of the stage where the light illuminate and focus on the slide from the light source which is at the base of the microscope means through this aperture means opening light source reaches from the light source at the base to the platform of the stage where we have placed the slide to observe the specimen after properly placing the slide on the stage then secure it with the help of clips of the stage and then with the help of light adjusting knob adjust the light focus on the stage here i am rotating the light adjusting knob clockwise to increase the intensity means to increase the amount of the light you can see here the intensity of the light increases on the screen after adjusting the desired amount of the light then with the help of course adjusting knob we have to focus the specimen on this slide as you know here we have taken onion cell slide and we have to rotate the course adjustment knob properly in the right way so that the objective lens properly focus the specimen on the slide and the magnified image of the specimen project on the screen here you can see in the green color the tissue of the onion cell on the screen means you will observe the image of the specimen on the screen by properly rotating the course adjustment knob 
means first by this course adjustment knob we have to rough focus the specimen of the slide on the screen next to view this magnified image of the onion tissue on the screen more clear and sharp we have to rotate properly the fine adjustment knob in this way to focus the object so that we observe fine clear and sharp magnified image of the object means we have to rotate the fine adjustment knob in the way till we observe more clear sharp image of the object in the screen here you can see in the video on the one side of the screen intense light focus on the screen due to which the image on the screen is not clear in the video this is due to the recording means we have recorded this video through the mobile and the light coming from inside the screen reflects on the lens of the mobile camera that's why you are observing this intense light on the screen due to the reflection of the light on the camera that's why tissue is not clear on the screen in the video but directly we are observing the clear and sharp image of the tissue without this light disturbance on the screen means directly you can see the clean and sharp image of the object on the screen now let's observe the tissue on the screen the more focus way we are only focusing the screen now you can see the onion tissue on the screen this type of projection microscope is very useful for the education purpose because the normal compound light microscope only allows one student means a single person to observe a specimen at a time through the eyepiece but through the projection microscope multiple person means many a student can observe the magnified image of the object at once because the image is projecting on the screen and also we can rotate the screen in the 360 degree also and this type of microscope is also very useful for the teaching purpose where a teacher can prepare a slide of any tissue like plants or animal tissue or prepare slide of microbes and show to the student by projecting the magnified image means the image of the specimen in the screen of the projection microscope and can easily explain the each and every part of the magnified image of the object So this is all about the projection microscope thank you very much for watching this video